Right you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a vlog. Today's date, if you were wondering, is December the 27th at 7.22pm. I'm sitting outside Subway. I'm absolutely starving. I've been doing intermittent fasting for the last four or five days. Today's been hectic as hell. I've had to move out of my office. Some of you guys will know I, I got an office space, I leased an office space here in Alice Springs for six months starting on the 1st of July. That was set to expire on the 31st of December. It was up to me whether I wanted to continue it. In the end, the $800 a month it was costing me, and I'm just going to throw this out there because it's the truth, I'm not making that much through my business and through my YouTube channel to, to cover the costs. I'm not making nearly enough. You know, that, that, that space was dedicated to my, my business, my clothing business, and, and uh, you know, creating YouTube videos. Halfway through my lease, I will say that I got, you know, kind of pissed off and I lost, I lost the motivation to use that space to create because <laughs> I didn't realize how paper thin the, the walls were between the offices. And lo and behold, someone moved in beside me and I was completely put off because, you not only can I hear everything they say, but I know that they can hear everything I say. And, if it, and especially if I'm getting loud in a reaction, even now, I'm talking to you, I'm talking loud. I don't want someone to be able to hear exactly what I'm saying. You know, that office was effectively my studio space. And no one's gonna get, no one's gonna have their studio, you know, no one's gonna have their studio space where they create content right next to someone else. It just doesn't work. It was like a, it was like being in a cubicle. It was like there was no wall there. Anyways, it was only 800 bucks a month. It was the cheapest one in Alice. I had to do it because at the time, I mean, I had no space. I was living at my apartment with my mum and my sister. I didn't even have a bedroom. I, I had all my stock there. I had all my computer equipment. It was just absolutely ridiculous. So I had to get some space, and that's what I did. Now, uh, the news is my my mum's gone away. She's actually moved out. Uh, well, she's gone to India for a trip, but once she comes back, she's moving out. My sister's actually just moved today, this morning, back to New Zealand. So she's off, she's left. She's done her seven years in Alice Springs and she's she's gone, she's gone back home. Um, and uh, <laughs> I guess the other piece of news is, lo and behold, um, I'm going back home. My dad, for my Christmas present, has shouted me a ticket back to Christchurch for New Year's. So on the 29th of December, in two more days, I'm heading back to New Zealand. I'm spending at least three weeks there uh, for New Year's. As well as that, I'm going up to a music festival called Bay Dreams in Nelson. And there's set to be like 40 or 50,000 people there. I'm pumped for it. My sister's going, her, her friends are going. Oh, you know, it's, it's gonna be sick, man. I've never been to a music festival in New Zealand. And so this is gonna be perfect timing. You know, I can't wait. And it's all my dad's doing. He shouted me a trip, and uh, you know I've been able to get some leave from work. So, boom! I spent Christmas in Alice, but I'm spending New Year's in New Zealand. So the last few days, not only have I been unpacking my office, uh, not unpacking, but packing my office, uh, I got a, a storage unit that's going to cost me 200 per month. So, costs, running costs of the business, overheads of the business, have gone from 800 a month to 200 a month. But what's had to happen is I've actually had to take the website down because I have no space to, uh, you know what, no, I'm not going to make any excuses. The reason why I've closed the business for now is because I need a break. I do. I'm not even posting on social media. I'm not making any sales. I need to come back to my business with a fresh head, with a fresh mindset and with a, a proper you know, business and marketing plan to take this brand where I know it can go. And that's what it is. So at the moment, uh, <laughs> the office is closed, the stock and all of my computer equipment, all of my sports equipment, all of my football memorabilia, all of my gym equipment that I bought, all of my boxing equipment, everything but my house, my car, my furniture and my clothes are all packed away in my storage unit. I've prepared my unit as much as I can for rent, if need be, but at the moment, the business uh, is shut. Major Key Physiques is, 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 
shutting its doors for a couple of months whilst I go back to New Zealand and whilst I prepare a business plan. Um, I feel okay about it, I feel good, you know, it was, it was really, it's only, it's just another headache. Uh, if we're talking finances, I had to sell one of my two properties, one of my two property investments this year to pay back some of the debt that I got myself in through that business. I never really recouped enough costs uh, to you know make make the the whole whole thing worthwhile but but then when I say that you've got to be in business for years you know three four years five years nothing might happen until that one thing pops off and you know you could have a multi-million dollar, dollar business on your hands but at the end of the day you've got to ask yourself okay if that happened would I even want to go out and start employing people would I want to go out and have a massive warehouse where I had employees where I had you know, loads and loads and loads of, 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 of packages flying out every day with returns and, and customer complaints and all that kind of thing. You know, scaling up is all good, but can you handle the pressure? And effectively, with my two kids, with my YouTube channel, with my job, and everything else that's been going on this year, I haven't even been able to handle a business on my own, let alone with employees and things like that. So, look, I need a break, and so I feel good about it. All my shit's in storage. My, my apartment is as close to being available for rent as, as, it, as it possibly can be. I'm going to head back to New Zealand. My kids are going to be here with their mum. It's fine. I'm going to spend a few weeks in New Zealand, regroup. I've got leave from work. My apartment is ready. I'm just talking out loud here, guys, because I need to. Um, I'm leaving in two days. So, you know, the, these last few days have been pretty hectic. I've been packing, making sure everything's ready making these last minute decisions because I didn't even know, I didn't know, you know, do I close the business? It's a big decision. But I've decided after much deliberation, much back and forth, much anxiety that yes, it's the right decision to make. I'm also taking one of, or two of everything back with me to New Zealand. So I'm, you know, hoping that I get a little bit of motivation whilst I'm there. Um, you know, I always do back in New Zealand. I, I feel like it's home. I feel like I get supported by my local people, you know what I mean? So for me, I feel like, I'm hoping that whilst I'm back, I might get a bit of motivation to possibly try and set up a few meetings with a few retailers to see if they might consider taking my brand on through consignment, in which case I'd come back to Alice Springs and I would uh, you know, pack up whatever they need and send it back to New Zealand so that they could stock it. I haven't really done that in Alice Springs because I just lost I lost all the motivation and like I said guys it's just been too much. I've just got my apartment back to myself. I don't want to have it crammed with all my stock, with all my computer equipment. I've got the bare essentials in there and it feels great. So this video it's just a quick vlog. I'm absolutely starving. I'm thirsty. I can't wait to get in there, get my get my foot long sub, three cookies, and a large cup drink. And I can't wait. Seriously. These last three days I've probably done about 20, oh, probably four or five days. I've probably done near on 30 reactions. Because, you know, it doesn't matter whether I was at school or whether I'm creating content for YouTube. I'm always best under pressure at the last minute. You know what I mean? I'm one of those guys who would, <laughs> oh my god, the nights before some exams and the nights before some, some um, you know, project assignment deadlines in high school, even, yeah, in high school, I didn't go to university, I went to university for four months, but in high school, was it was absolutely ridiculous. I'd, I'd be up till 3 or 4am, the end product would always be just as good as what it needed to be, but... You know, that, that amount of work that I could fit into those last eight hours, you know, if I really push myself, is, you know, exactly what I've been doing with these reactions for these last four or five days. I've known I'm leaving on the 29th. I've known I'm not going to take my computer equipment with me because it's all packed up. And I've known that I needed some content to continue this YouTube channel. So I've done what's, what's necessary, you know. Basically, I've hustled, <laughs> which is what you need to do. So that is a little bit of a story. I Once I bring the camera out, once I start talking, I really can't stop sometimes, and I apologize. But with that being said, it's, it's the 27th of December, 2019. Tomorrow, I will show you guys 
the office when I finally close it up and hand in the keys. I'll show you guys the storage unit when I finally lock it up and take the keys. And I'll show you my home, uh, my apartment, how it's looking and how I'm leaving it um, once I leave on the 29th to go to New Zealand. Uh, there's going to be no one in it, it's going to be empty, uh, but it's been a fucking hectic few days. I hate moving. All you guys must hate moving. I mean, it certainly wasn't a three bedroom house, but it was an office space and a lot of my uh, gym equipment, which is fucking heavy. I just bought that too. I just bought a squat rack with all these weights. It's, it's brand new. It's absolutely beautiful, guys, but it's all packed away for $200 a month. <laughs> so I guess, you know, when I do come back to that storage unit, it'll be you know, when I want to restart the business. And it will be when I want to restart training at home again. And so all I'll need is a certain amount of space. I'll be able to set up the business. I'll be able to set up my gym equipment. I'll be able to have all my sports equipment to head down to the field. And, you know, I know that this life is, is here for when I need it. Um, my kids are looked after, but you know, that situation I mean, there's one, <laughs> there was one comment on my video on Christmas Day that really cut me. Um, you know, there's loads of awesome positive comments, but there was one, one comment that said, That's, that makes me really sad um, to see my, my, set, my situation, you know. And um, I feel like it was because of the interaction that I had with the mother of my kids and I, I feel like it was probably really awkward and someone saw that and, and, and thought, you know, that's just sad. So, um, I didn't think it was too sad, I actually had a great time to be honest, so I mean I don't know what you were watching but maybe it came through wrong on the camera but I had a fantastic Christmas day with my kids. and. Uh, you know, I hope you guys did too. So, I'm freaking starving. I can't wait to eat the subway. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay? We've got one more day until I leave. So, so there's, there's not a whole lot of time. <laughs> but like I said before, that's, that's when I work best. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. You in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I run the world I'd run the mile The way you look at me I think I'm going insane